Whoever you are, whatever you've done, if you feel lost or like you've won, there's something you need to know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna let it flow. We came from the stars, some near, some far, with a mission to achieve reminiscence, replication, evolution, of a time where we knew who we are and what to do. More information doesn't equal better decisions. Sometimes the best choice is in our own premonitions. The problem is that our minds get so in the way of the bodily intelligence that happens when we pray. Prayer is more than a set of rules. It's a connection to source and one of our best tools. Prayer is a part of all kinds of faiths. Consistent throughout history, it's a way to stay awake. Awake to the truth that deep down we all know that we somehow forget when we enter life's grand show. If it's all just a show, then what is the purpose? What's the purpose of music, art, sports, and performance? Maybe it's this need to express. There's something meaningful about doing our best. When we see a great athlete or performer, something in us gets ignited. Our hearts beat fast, our cheeks get warmer. We see ourselves through a mirror. Our own human potential becomes much clearer. Then we'll say, but I could never do that. But somewhere inside, we know that's a lie. And maybe all we need is time, time in this lifetime or beyond. Our soul's on its own journey. We're all cosmic vagabonds. That doesn't mean to let this lifetime go. No. But if day after day you're indulging in sorrow and woe, just know. It's perfectly normal to be sad, sometimes, or most of the time. This world makes it hard to see past trauma we become blind. We've all been through pain, some more than others. But no matter what, we're all sisters and brothers. My point is that the pain is normal, especially if you've been through something horrible. But this should not stop us from living living life. There's so much to live for. You've got it in you. You've got more. Don't give up on yourself. It's okay to slow down, to take care of your health, and take a day to ground. And remember, you can always pray. To who? What God? I wish I knew. All I know is that it doesn't matter, because prayer can help us break through our walls, make them shatter. You don't have to pray to anyone or anything but yourself. How can there be one right religion? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Humans wake up, can we see? That's absurd. Every religion holds truth, tainted with egoic interference. It's just how humans decipher the cosmic experience. The value of religion is not who's right or who's wrong. The value is giving us a place to belong. Because in the end, that's all we really want. To belong for who we truly are. That's our North Star. Then why is it so hard? Because if we are our true selves and we get rejected, we think we we don't belong. We think we're defective. If we all fear rejection, then why reject others? Because every human could be our own sister or brother, son, daughter, or mother. Every person could be us. When we reject the other, we reject ourselves. Do you see this reflection? This parallel? I pray that we can all wake up and see that all people are in each of us.